All right, so this is the second part of our AED video, and I just wanted to run through actually how to apply this. So when you bring this back again, we want to use the AED as soon as it becomes available. So as soon as it gets here, I want to open this thing up and I want to deploy it. Um, when I open it up, one of the very first thing that I need to do is turn it on. Okay, so once I get here, I know that sounds a little bit weird. Some of them turn on, but a lot of them don't. So the very first thing that we want to do when the AED comes on scene is turn it on and you'll, you'll see that here in just a second. Once I get the pads on my patient, at that point, all I really need to do is follow the prompts. So first thing is, is I turn it on. Second thing I do is I'm gonna follow the prompts. And this AED is gonna guide us through this whole process. And remember the two rhythms that we're gonna shock are ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. In order for me to apply um, the AED and use the AED on my patients, my patient has to be is first off unresponsive then they have to be um, with no pulse so pulseless and then the third is apneic so they're not breathing so unconscious um, no pulse and no breathing would be the criteria for me to use the AED now once the AED gets here what you're going to do the very first thing is going to get we're going to go ahead and turn it on so these ones here have this little on button we're going to turn it on and this machine is going to start the next thing, okay, after I put the pads on, remember one goes on the right upper chest area, one goes on the left lateral ribs. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the pads. And these things have this little sticky back to them. So you would take this, this back off and we would stick it there to make sure that those pads have good contact. If they had a hairy chest, we would shave it off first because that would be a problem because we wouldn't have good pad contact. If our patient was in standing water pools, ponds, things like that, I would actually have to get them out of the water, um, put them on dry ground and wipe off their chest, then apply the pads here. Now, once I get the pads on, the next thing that I'm gonna do is simply follow the prompts on the machine. Now the machine is gonna tell me to go ahead um, and stand clear. Okay, so anytime that this machine is gonna analyze, anytime that it is analyzing, we cannot touch the patient because the machine will sense the movement. So this machine here, it's going to tell me, hey, stand clear, I need to analyze. So we make sure that everybody's clear from the patient. It's going to take a couple seconds, okay, and it's going to search for that rhythm. And if it determines that this patient, that our patient is in ventricular fibrillation or ventricular um, tachycardia, it is going to want to deliver a shock. So it's going to tell us again, it's going to warn us, hey, stand clear, we're ready to shock. We make sure that everybody um, is not touching the patient. And then at that point, we're going to go ahead and hit the shock button and we're going to deliver a shock to the patient. Now, directly um, after we hit that shock button and we deliver a shock, our next actions is to get right back on the chest and continue CPR.